<laughs> so you called me when you came back with him, and the first thing that went through my mind was like, he's a three-day-old adopted baby? He could still latch. He could still bond with her in a way that normally adoptive moms don't have a chance to do. I wanted her to think about it and see if she was ready emotionally to do it, if she was even open to doing it. I was pretty excited to try it, but I was kind of nervous too, but so, totally open to it. <laughs> yeah, so I come over to, to Jackie's house on the Saturday. I walk in the door <laughs> and I meet this <clears throat> wonderful, beautiful, little robust baby boy <laughs> who is just rooting rooting yeah me as that's right. just want to suck he just looks like he wants to suck and suck and she had that was actually I forgot that was actually one of the initial things as part of the feeding like where I thought he was taking too much I even think I mentioned that to you like he's just constantly rooting I just thought he's looking for his mom mm -hmm. and now he's with a strange woman mm -hmm. who is his mom but he doesn't know that Jackie's his mom you're nourishing your baby's body and and their soul when you're nursing because you're giving them reassurance that everything is okay with the world, they're physically connected to a person who's caring for them. It's really more important how we feed our babies and not what we feed our babies. We got a bottle of formula and we put a little feeding tube in the end of it and mm -hmm. we taped it alongside of Jackie's breast. I thought it was gonna be a little bit of a process. Like he, he was four days old, he'd only bottle fed and I handed Jackie Landon and this, that moment, I believe, was truly the highlight of my career. I have never experienced that kind of powerful, tangible evidence of the importance of a newborn physically bonding with their mom. So he turned and he latched right on like he'd been doing it his whole life. Yeah. He settled into the feed. He went right to it. He mm -hmm. sucked down three quarters of a bottle. Yeah. And then he was satisfied Yes, there was a big difference at the end. He, it was, he, he like fell asleep, I think, even during it. And you just kind of like rolled him off and he was out, like completely passed out. His head was like leaning back. His mouth was open. Yeah. He was just he content. He had that, like Thanksgiving dinner, what did they call it? Milk drunk? Like, like, yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was. It was amazing. That was the first time that I didn't have to stop him from eating where he stopped himself. And it was an amazing feeling for me because I felt like I was doing something right. Um, and I think it's hard with adoption because there is a tremendous amount of loss in the beginning, especially um, when, you know, when your child is separated from their birth mom and as an adoptive parent, you can't help but grieve for the birth mom and for your child. And outside of biology, being able to do something like that was just amazing. And for it to work was so wonderful. It's something that I don't think many people know about or many people think about. And it is, um, it is a big deal to nurture the soul, like you said, in addition to it, because he was a completely different baby. I have worked with close to 2,000 families over the last 11 years in Kodiak, but that afternoon at your house will always be the highlight of my career. I'm happy. You could see that he just, in that moment, he learned who his mom was. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that I got to share it with you That's because cool. I, <laughs> I really am. Um, I don't know, it's just a great experience. Yeah. It really was. Indescribable, mm -hmm. really. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>